Hi people, Chili here, and on this episode we cover Trivium's new album, In the Court of the Dragon. Trivium is a band I have never truly gotten into, despite trying, so will this album be the one that changes my mind? And for any Trivium fans listening, stick around for the end, I have a question. X, In the Court of the Dragon. The opener is titled X in reference to 10 tracks on their 10th album and has an angelic choir singing the Halo theme type of song before we are brutally butchered by the screams in the court of the dragon. This song holds nothing back as the band grab you by the balls and drag you along for the ride. The drumming is on another level as well and makes me wonder if they hired Goro as the drummer for this track. The guitar work is also nothing to scoff at either, and reminds me of the early 2000s metalcore scene. It takes one listen to enjoy this song, but a few to really appreciate this track. A next level opener, and I'm fucking pumped to hear more. Off to a very good start here. Like a sword over Democles follows, and this is a saying that infers something bad could happen at any time. I'm not sure on the lyrical aspect where this story is supposed to be set on or about. But at times it feels like it could be a retelling of the story, and at other times it could be an open to other interpretations. I guess make of it what you will, but we cannot deny this is one badass groove in the track, especially the build up of tension in the guitars as the scales shift higher and higher and the drum work speeds up. No doubt this song has some thrash roots here and is another fucking amazing standout. Would also like to point out a small point, but the additional drums at the end were a fine touch. Feast of Fire is next, and this is definitely a track that could be for radio. While more mellow than the last two tracks, it still has some solid riffs pumping throughout. It's got some epic vibes throughout, and I bet this will make for an awesome live track with the crowd singing along. A Crisis of Revelation is one face melter of a track. Blast beats and triplets over technical guitar work. Feels good to hear a song that isn't just down-tuned 8-string guitars played with palm mutes at a slow pace and no guitar solos. It is also worth mentioning that when I first heard the guitar solo at the end, it blew my mind. But this was not due to just the guitar work, it was the whole band really, and especially the unconventional bass line played at the end. It is a very interesting guitar solo, and I highly recommend hearing it. The Shadow of the Abattoir could fool you for thinking it was the quiet track of the album. It takes a bit to build up and shows off the band in a progressive metal light. It has some complex parts and time signature changes to enjoy as the guitar work gallops to new heights throughout. Overall, another decent track, but the intro for me felt like it went on a bit too long. Regardless, I would give it a play if you have the time. No Way Back just starts off with a hard-hitting drum and guitar pattern. The tempo is quick in this piece, and it's a short piece of that. It's a solid track, and is beefy in its chorus. I get a vibe that this track might have been Trivium of old, and correct me if I am wrong there, but it just is a feeling of mine. This is an epic track, and it needs to be played loud. Give it a spin now. Now I said. Fall Into Your Hands follows, and it is the longest track on the album at nearly 8 minutes long. Unlike the shadow of the abattoir, there is no quiet build-up. Just jumping head first into the deep metal mastery of Trivium. This song has some incredible styles in this track, especially with the clean vocal parts that show off Matt Heafy's range and it's rather impressive. This is yet again another impressive track on the album. It wouldn't be fair for me to point out one part of the song over another, as this song feels like a puzzle that fell into its place perfectly. When you hear it, I think you will agree. It all just comes together. From Dawn to Decadence is next, and maybe it was due to the epic last track, but when I got to this track, it didn't click with me. I was feeling a bit jaded with the album at this point, and I was confused because there were some amazing tracks before, but now, I just wanted to stop, or at least... This was my initial thought upon listening to this track. Upon re-listening to it, I still don't feel really strongly for this song, and I think that's really because of the previous track. It is still okay, but I would probably skip it in subsequent playthroughs. The Phalanx rounds out this album, and I won't lie, when I first heard this track I wrote it off as a bit generic until I heard the second half of this track, and I was impressed. A phalanx is a group of soldiers who are moving in close formation, usually with a shield wall and spears. This style is associated with the ancient Greeks and their battle tactics. 
The track drips of story and glory in its legend and its build-up with the lyrics. The track does have a close quarters feel with the scale of guitar work being played. And this is a great closing track that rounds off this glorious album, and it is a great choice. At the beginning of this episode, I said I have never been a big fan of Trivium and couldn't get into them. Did this album change my view about Trivium in the end? Hell yeah, it did. I can only give big props to the band for this record. It was fucking epic. This is a solid album from start to finish. I enjoyed their style on this album, and it feels like a breath of fresh air in a scene that feels somewhat stale and lacking in energy. The band brings the energy of 90s metal like Machine Head to a 2000s metalcore scene, so if you love these brands, I would recommend hearing this album. Album highlights for me were In the Court of the Dragon, Feast of Fire, and Fall Into Our Hands. To me, this album has earned an 8 out of 10 and is a solid listen, and while I am not a fan yet, I enjoyed the album immensely, and Trivian fans who have made it to this point, can you let me know which album should I listen to next? I am interested to give them another shot. Thank you for listening to this episode, and have a great day.